Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I am Kim Barnes with Women's Employment Network. We are so glad that you joined our virtual job for this afternoon. We have lots of companies giving you wonderful information and tips about how to um, apply at their company. Our next presenter is going to be Samantha with Cerner. She's going to talk to you about her wonderful company, the positions they have open, and how you can apply for those. So I will turn it over to Samantha and we can talk about what you've got coming up and how they can apply for those great positions. Perfect. Well, thank you all so much for letting me attend uh, this afternoon and share with you all of the really exciting things about Cerner. Um, my name is Samantha, and I have been a recruiter at Cerner for five years now. Um, so in those five years, I've had an opportunity to really work in all different parts of the business um, and work on a variety of different positions. So I'm super excited to be able to share with you um, kind of what we do and um, who we are. So to kind of jump right in, um, our mission as a company um, is to relentlessly seek breakthrough innovation that will help shape healthcare for tomorrow. Um, so we really are dedicated to creating a culture where our associates understand their work, the impact it has, uh, and how we innovate for you know, a greater experience in healthcare. Um, so if you're keeping up with Cerner, um, we've had a lot of exciting announcements lately. Um, the latest being uh, that Dr. David Feinberg from Google Health is coming over to Cerner uh, and taking over as CEO starting October 1st. Um, so lots of exciting changes, um, but you know, still holding you know true to our core values. Um, we have always kind of sat right at the intersection of healthcare and technology. Um, so first and foremost, we are a healthcare company, um, but what we do is develop software IT solutions for large and small organizations. So that can look like smaller doctors' offices or hospital systems, whole healthcare systems, urgent care facilities, medical billing facilities. Um, we really work kind of broadly throughout the healthcare spectrum. Uh, and our ultimate goal is really to help our clients better deliver care. Uh, so, you know, what we focus on is automating everything that happens uh, within the healthcare environment so that processes are running uh, as efficiently and effectively as possible. Um, we do have clients uh, in all over the world, in over 30 countries, uh, really? but we are, yeah, but we are headquartered here in Kansas City. So the majority of our associates are local here in Kansas City, um, which is nice. Um, so we are, though, opening up a lot of our positions to be virtual. So we have kind of adapted um, post-COVID environment to allow for our associates uh, to have a lot more work from home opportunities and uh, completely remote opportunities. Um, so, you know, really what we focus on is, you know, using the latest technology to create solutions that let communities and people engage in their own health. Um, we like to say, you know, that if you focus on the health in the beginning, you need less care later on. Um, so that's really where we try to put our focus. Um, so whether our solutions are supporting the clinical, financial, or operational areas of a hospital or health system, our tools are designed to work for today and think for tomorrow um, and supporting our clients by surfacing data that enables them to make informed decisions uh, you know, for better management of operations while arming their clinicians and providers with the information that they need for smarter care. Um, so really empowering them you know, to manage and engage with the people that they serve. Um, so kind of what's an example of that? How are we helping our clients? Um, kind of, you know, we, we really, you know, our solutions and our services are there to enable our clients to achieve, um, you know, all different kinds of successes, whether it be, you know, uh, patient safety, clinical outcomes, operational efficiencies, um, something we like to highlight, you know, in May of 2016, uh, Excella Health worked with Cerner to implement the sepsis management solution. Um, so for those who aren't familiar with sepsis, um, it is an infection in your bloodstream and it can be very deadly um, and it can be hard to um, uh, identify uh, in the beginning stages. Um, and so what this solution did was um, you know, look through patients' data and alert providers when a patient begins to display those early signs of sepsis. Uh, and by using this, they were able to see a 20% decrease in sepsis mortality. So as you can see, you know, we're doing a lot of really impactful work um, and really are, you know, creating 
the opportunity for our clients to provide better care to their patients. Uh, and with all of our clients, you know, we really focus on relentlessly, you know, advancing our clients' successes, you know, imagining, designing, and implementing intelligent health networks, uh, and making, you know, better health experiences and outcomes, you know, our duty and our responsibility. So that's kind of who we are and, you know, who our clients are. Um, and as far as our culture goes, you know, we know that our associates are driven by their own personal stories um, to make healthcare better. So all of our associates have their own, you know, individual reason. Um, somehow, you know, it's touched them to be in healthcare um, and they've chosen Cerner, you know, for a way for them to you know, have that impact on society. Uh, and we really believe that it's those unique experiences of our associates uh, from various cultures and backgrounds that provide better solutions uh, for our clients and contribute to an overall better environment for our associates. Um, and Cerner has a really intentional approach um, to our diversity and inclusion. And it's really focused through the perspective of you know, four lenses. Um, and those four lenses are workplace, workforce, community, and marketplace. Um, and we really are aiming to you know, further a holistic transformation for our clients, our partners, and our associates. Um, so we do have, we call them associate business resource groups. Um, other companies, they call them like affinity groups, mm -hmm. um, but it's opportunities for you to engage with, um, you know, associate, associates that you have things in common with, um, you know, to form that community, but it's also a great opportunity to engage in groups where maybe, you know, that's not how you identify, but you're an ally or you want to broaden your network and your community, okay. um, and you can participate in those groups, um, whether just being an active participant or becoming a chair of that group. Um, they offer a lot of, you know, panel discussions, events, they frequently bring in external speakers or leverage our internal associate base. Um, the, uh, organization that we wanted to highlight today is our Women in Action, uh, and they specifically focus on creating an encouraging, collaborative, and inclusive, respectful work environment for our women and our allies uh, to educate, inspire, and empower women of all races, nationalities, cultures, and religions through things like mentoring, networking, community engagement events, um, and they specifically focus on, you know, women in leadership, so getting, you know, women in higher levels at Cerner, um, getting more women in technology, more women in healthcare, uh, and multicultural women. So um, hopefully that kind of, you know, highlights who we are and what we do. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so now, you know, how do I get started? Yeah, how do they company. get started? <laughs> yeah, how do they get started and what, what position should they be looking for? Right. So we have all different areas. Um, you know, you don't have to just have technical experience okay. or already have healthcare experience. Um, and our website does a really good job of kind of highlighting what each of the areas of the business that we have, kind of what they do, um, which can help when you're trying to filter through, you know, the 500 plus positions that you may see on our career page. Um, you know, and we have positions if you want to, um, you know, get into more technical positions. Um, we have, you know, obviously those software engineering, system engineering positions, mm -hmm. but we also have, you know, positions like solution analysts and support analysts. That's kind of our tier one help desk support okay. that does not require any previous technical experience or technical degrees. It's really more kind of, you know, those individuals who want to, you know, be customer or client facing uh, and okay. enjoy kind of troubleshooting and problem solving. So, and then you can kind of work your way up from there. Really all of the positions that we have, have um, career tracks to kind of get you in the door at Cerner and then where you want to go eventually in your career. Okay. Um, if you want to travel for Cerner, uh, a lot of our clients want us to come on site to kind of work side by side, um, you know, with them implementing the solutions. Um, those are kind of in our client services. So you'd want to look at consulting positions. The majority mm -hmm. of those are traveling to client sites. Um, we also have your traditional corporate positions, HR, finance, legal, um, administrative positions. Um, so those are all, you know, great opportunities to get into Cerner. You want to work for the company, but maybe you don't want to travel. Um, you don't have clinical experience. You're not interested in um, you know, being in a more technical role. Uh, we okay. also have opportunities. Um, there are academy programs, um, and you may or may not be familiar with them, uh, but it's an opportunity for those 
either recently graduated from school or looking to make a career change. Okay. Uh, and maybe your previous experience isn't relevant to the positions you want to get into at Turner. Our academy programs are a great opportunity for you to be hired into training, where then we'll spend your first few months at Turner um, really dedicated on you know, hands-on, in-depth mm. experience. And then from the training program, then you'll be placed onto a team and you can start your career from there. So it's an opportunity for us to give you um, training on the front end mm -hmm. uh, and then get you set up to be successful in your career at Cerner. Okay. Um, and then the other space we always like to highlight is our federal space. Um, so the federal government is Cerner's largest client. Uh, so we work with the Department of Defense and the VA hospitals. That's a project that's getting ramped up. Um, we were contracted by the VA uh, to implement Cerner solutions into all of the VA hospitals. So for those uh, individuals who are you know, passionate about the healthcare of our veterans and want to get involved in you know, bettering the healthcare mm -hmm. system for them, our federal space is a great opportunity for that. Um, and you know, when you're Looking through our site, you may see, you know, 10 different program manager positions, project manager positions. I would encourage you to really look at all of them um, because okay. they're not going to be the same for each team and each org. So maybe the first few that you look at, you're like, mm, I don't know if that's what I'm looking for. I don't know if it speaks to my skill set. Keep mm -hmm. looking uh, because it will vary from team to team. Okay. And you may find that the next three that you look at um, are all kind of exactly what you're looking for and exactly what you want to do. Um, and then from there, we'll just want you to look at the basic qualifications um, okay. just to make sure, you know, that you have um, what's required to be considered. And that okay. way you're not, you know, it's kind of spinning your wheels, applying to positions and not understanding, you know, why am I not hearing back? Um, you know, if you don't meet the basic qualifications, that's probably why. Um, so kind of first step is making sure the job description is of interest to you. And then if you meet the basic qualifications, uh, then definitely apply. Um, something you can use to kind of gauge, um, you know, high, how you might be evaluated for the position is the preferred qualifications, which will be right under the basic qualifications in any of mm -hmm. our job postings. Um, and those are by no means required. So don't let not having all of those or maybe even any of those preferred qualifications stop okay. you from applying Okay. because um, we will absolutely still consider you, but you can use those to kind of gauge, um, you know, if you apply to that position and um, you, you know, ultimately aren't advanced forward, um, just know that, you know, it was maybe just simply those preferred qualifications, but in other areas, um, you know, maybe that team didn't those skills didn't matter as much to them and you were exactly what they were looking for. So don't let that, um, you know, prevent you from continuing mm -hmm. to apply to positions. Um, and I'm always happy to be a resource to anyone who's attending okay. today. I'm happy to share my email address or add me on LinkedIn. Um, I know that our career page um, is just ginormous and there are all kinds of positions and it's always changing. And sometimes it can be hard um, to know how to interpret, um, you know, kind of what we're looking for based off of mm -hmm. your experience, if this is a new industry to you, um, or you're making kind of a career change, you're getting back into the workforce after a while, and um, you're just looking for a little bit of assistance. Um, I am 1000% happy to be a resource. Uh, okay. I am kind of one of a, a large number of recruiters, so I may not have the details on like very specific positions, but kind of general guidance on how you get into the door at Cerner. Um, I'm happy to be your gal and I'm happy to assist in any way that I can. Okay. Okay. And you may, talk to me a little bit more because you what really piqued my interest a little bit here, you talked about that academy program. You mentioned yes. maybe somebody trying to get back into the workforce. There might, they may have been out for a while and they have some skills, but maybe not that specific skill set. And they're like, you know, but I really want to join up the, a Cerner type company. So talk to me a little bit about how would they apply to be in that academy program? Is that on your website as well? It is, um, and okay. we have um, different academies for different areas of the business. So one of the academies that's very active right now, and we are looking for individuals to start um, you know, towards the end of this year and early next year is our mm -hmm. consulting academy. Um, so, and it's posted as um, academy consultant. Uh, and, you know, we, in that position, um, we are basically preparing you to be a consultant at Cerner. Um, okay. So really what we're looking for is in that specific instance, you know, individuals who are comfortable being 
client facing, who are comfortable with traveling to the client site, um, and just an, an interest and in, in a, a passion for healthcare. You really are going to these client sites as they're implementing Turner solutions and kind of you are there to hold their hand and help them adapt to these new workflows and you know make sure that these changes um, are only benefiting their patients and in no way hindering patient care. Um, but what's nice about that is maybe you know that's that sounds exciting. I don't know if I want to do that long term. I don't know if I can commit to traveling for more than a few years. Um, a lot of people use that as a way to get into Cerner and then okay. grow their career from from here. And what's nice is you know, we have those traditional um, career tracks climbing up the ladder, um, but what we offer at Cerner that not all companies are able to offer is a lot of lateral mobility also. Um, so really allowing for you to pursue other areas of the business that maybe you wouldn't naturally ever be promoted into. Um, you can kind of pursue those opportunities to take a step sideways. Um, but other academies that we offer are um, our Client Services Academy, um, so those are to prepare um, those individuals going into client support roles. So like I was mentioning before, like our support analyst, our solution analyst, and an opportunity to get you acclimated to Cerner Solutions and our clients so that you can jump into a position um, and, you know, provide that support without maybe, you know, ever having done that kind of support before. Um, okay. Software Academy, System Academy, all of those opportunities for you to kind of jump into those areas of the business. Okay, so let's say someone applies, because I know that there's going to be people on here who are going to be like, you know what, this is what I'm looking to do. Um, and mm -hmm. you've just given us some good tips about how you can do that introductory into the door. You've talked a little bit about how you guys are promoting from within and allowing you to kind of have different experiences. How long does it typically take from, let's say, you've applied for the job, you've been contacted for interviews to like the actual hiring? Is that how long is that phase usually? Yeah, so we strive for a two week turnaround time. Okay. Um, so we really, you know, the all of the positions that are posted are um, immediate need. Um, so we okay. are looking for people to get started right away, um, while also, you know, making sure that we're hiring the right people. Right. Um, right. But after you have completed your interviews, um, your recruiter will reach out to you with a decision within two weeks, um, and you will always hear back from us. Um, even if you, we aren't able to offer you that position, um, okay. we will call you back. So you'll always, um, you'll never be left wondering. And if there okay. is a delay, um, we're really good about kind of letting you know what that updated timeline would be. Okay. Now, just to go back, you mentioned those travel positions. Yes. Are those 50% travel? Are they 100% travel? Kind of what's the percentage? If you, like, I know some people who like, you know what, I want to see more parts of the country. And what a better way to do that than like, okay, I'm going to go with my job and work at a hospital during the day and maybe sightsee at night. So what, how much of a position, how much travel is in those positions? Yeah, that's a great question. And it varies. Um, okay. For our pre-COVID, all of our consulting positions were really, um, you know, 80 to 100% travel. And what that okay. looks like is um, typically a Monday through Thursday travel schedule, you come home on the weekends. Um, we still have some of those positions that are still that level of travel, um, but a lot of our consulting positions have adopted more of a 50% travel. Okay. Um, our clients are still dealing with a lot, um, mm -hmm. and so they aren't able to host kind of as many in-person events as yeah. previously they could. Um, so we have adopted as much that we could um, to more of a virtual model, um, okay. but, you know, we have I would say it's always going to be in the posting um, and double check and, and see if it meets your comfort level. But yeah, I mean, we have clients in Hawaii, in Alaska, all over the country. So if you are looking for travel, I mean, we can send you to some really cool places and have you working, you know, face to face with some really cool clients. That sounds like great opportunities. Um, any last minute? We have about three more minutes. So if anyone has any more questions, you can put those in the chat box. But any last minute information you want to give me about um, the application process about maybe the benefits. Um, we haven't really talked about like health benefits and yeah. um, leave and things like that at Cerner. Do you want to talk about those just a little bit? Yeah, yes, definitely. So what's really great about Cerner, um, your medical, dental, and vision benefits start your very first day. So great. there's no waiting period at Cerner. Yes, which is a really great perk. Mm -hmm. um, we offer uh, 401k matching, um, up to 6% in Cerner stock, and you're vested after two years. 
Okay. Um, so you'll start being able to keep that money after two years, which is great. We lowered our vesting schedule um, here recently. Um, we have nine holidays uh, that we recognize um, as well as um, our PTO benefits are accrued. So you start earning them throughout the year. Okay. Um, but depending upon the position, you can start with either two to three weeks, um, you know, right away. Um, let's see, uh, maternity leave, we offer um, 12 weeks of paid maternity leave, which is great. We also offer four weeks of paternity leave, um, which is great for our, you know, fathers and our dads to be able to spend you know, quality that is time. a great benefit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, ad adoption assistance um, for, you know, those associates who are looking to go down that path. Um, we have our healthy clinics um, at all of our um, campuses here in the metro area. Um, so what's nice about those is if you're on Cerner's medical insurance, you can see a primary care physician at no cost to you. So can anyone who's on your benefits plan with you? Um, we also have nutritionists, chiropractors, therapists, um, our associates have access to six free therapy sessions a year, um, which is great for kind of preventing burnout and helping with that mm -hmm. mental health, especially with all of us still working virtually yeah. um, and kind of our worlds are still upside down. It's a great benefit to have. Um, and along with our healthy clinics, we also have full service pharmacies. Um, so your doctor can call in your prescription to a Cerner clinic, um, just like they would a CVS or Walgreens. And we mm -hmm. sell over the counter items all at cost. So um, cough drops, Benadryl, Band-Aids, uh, all significantly cheaper than you'd find at your drugstore. That's great. That's great. Okay. Well, we have about two more minutes. So do you want to, you, there will be a slide right after you that's going to show your website, but do you want to tell them the website, their first step to go apply? Like, what do you want them to do within the next hour? If they're ready to apply, what, where are they, what should they go? What should they have ready with them? Yes, so um, CernerCareers.com um, is our site um, to view our positions. And like I said, we have a lot of resources on our careers page, and I would encourage you to read up on all of that information. It really will help you get a better idea of kind of where these positions um, are located within the business, what the area mm -hmm. of focus is. Um, and if you are a, if you are advanced to the interview stage, whether prior to meeting you know, with a recruiter or prior to your interviews with the hiring manager, we provide all of the tips and tricks for interviewing with Cerner on our careers page. We wow, ask, nice. yeah, um, we, don't, we don't want it to feel like a pop quiz. We want to know you. Um, so we want you to feel prepared so that you feel comfortable and confident communicating your experiences. We ask behavioral-based interview questions okay. um, and we, are, we follow the STAR method. So, um, you know, kind of researching all of that, it's all on our website, resume prep. Um, so take a look at that if even before you apply, making sure um, you know, that you've read through those tips, seeing if there's anything that you could update about your resume to make you um, stand out better in the applicant pool. Um, all of that is on our website, and I can't highlight enough how beneficial it really is in our process because we want you to be as successful, you know, and spend as much of your time interviewing us as we are interviewing you and making sure that we are the right fit. And the best way to do that is make sure that you're comfortable and, and confident and know exactly what you're walking into with your interviews with us. Well, thank you. This has all been great information. Thank you for spending a little bit of time this afternoon with us. Um, everyone, we're going to take a break and we'll be back at three o'clock. I will put up a slide with Samantha's name on it so that you can jot, jot that down. And it'll also have that web page on there. Um, and then our next presentation will start at three o'clock. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, she told you where to go to the um, Cerner career page to apply. And we'll see everybody back in just a few minutes. Thanks, Samantha. See you soon.